Wednesday, Pff, so pa say that term. Wellness Wednesday here on Mornings with Lou Anne and Tim. Welcome. Yesterday I went to get in my car and the temperature of my car said 28 degrees. Oh. <laughs> it was like 20. After I had to scrape the windshield in the morning. I yesterday. know, isn't that bizarre? No wonder people get sick. N because the temperature changes so Yeah, much. because your system's trying to keep up. Kate, okay, that's people don't get sick. Kate, okay, are you one of those people who thinks that if you wash your hair and like go outside, you're gonna catch a cold? Yes. It's not true. Okay. You get sick because of germs, not because of temperature changes. All right. <laughs> At any rate, it was like summer yesterday. Yes, it was. It was oh, very really lovely. I hope you it. enjoyed your day yesterday. We are absolutely thrilled. Are I'm cutting you off because I'm so excited. She's we have thrilled. another sponsor. <gasps> yes. Thank you so much to KC Security, who oh. um, they provide mobile patrols, so they tour around throughout the day, throughout the night, all night long, and they've done a great job uh, of patrolling and getting to know on TV staff because mm -hmm. they're here a lot and, and wanting us to make sure that they, we know that they are on board. That's Daniel and Nathan. Yes, it is. And I just saw Nathan yesterday in the station oh, mall because they're participating in the, uh, is it Police Week? If oh this is, yes, this yes, week is yes. Police Week, and they have a big display set up in the station mall at the Sears Court. Oh, good. I don't know why they still call it the Sears Court, but anyway, yeah. down there in that part of town. And um, so I saw him, and he was saying, "Oh yes." And now uh, he he's, he patrol. They do Bellevue Park. They, they patrol do Bellevue everything. Park yeah. for us. We are in good hands, and they, they were are. just voted the best security company in Sault Ste. Marie. So congrats to you guys, and thanks for sponsoring the morning show. And if it rings a bell, KC Security, it's because he is the son of KC Roofing. You see. Local boy, oh. entrepreneur, starts his own business, brings his partner in from the West Coast. They settle in Sault Ste. Marie, form a business. We love it. East Coast. Vancouver, I said. No, Newfoundland. Was he from Newfoundland? Yeah. Oh, well, how, he doesn't, I didn't, his accent tricked me. Yes, he did. <laughs> you know what? Sad news no. in the entertainment world. Another one. Tim Conway passed away. Yeah, I yesterday morning. Him. He was 85 years old. Man, the characters that he created on the Carol Burnett Variety Show. Mr. Ho Wiggins was Mr. Ho Wiggins, yeah. Now, do you remember the dentist? The funniest sketch I've ever seen. Ever. Ever. He and Harvey Corman Har used to work to try and crack each other up on camera. Yeah. And there was this one they were doing, and he. It's famous. It was, if you can't. Take two seconds today. Find it on YouTube or something It'll and take a look laugh. at it. Tim it Conway, is classic. Harvey Corman, the dentist sketch. Yeah, His so amazing. His physical comedy, and rumor has it that Harvey Corman actually peed himself. Is that right? During that, is while that he was right? in the dentist chair. Oh That's my, the story and, and that I heard. What he was so, so lovely about the whole concept was, of course, it was live television, mm -hmm. and. You could see the camaraderie between the two of them, and then when Carol joined the two of them, it was magic. The it other was one to magic. check out. The other one to check out is Mama's Family. Oh gosh, the elephant, and it, it was Dick Van Dyke was one of the guests on, and, and they're all sitting on the couch in Mama's living room, mm -hmm. and, and Carol's there as Eunice, and you. One of the things that Carol Burnett was great at was not losing it. Yes, they she could lose it all around on. her and yeah. she'd hang on to the bitter end. But in yeah. that one, she lost, lost it. it. Yeah. So if you want a good chuckle, Google some Tim Conway. There it is. That's the elephant one right yeah. there. Look at her going. See Carol? Yeah, she just. It's a hoop. It's so much fun to, to watch the pros sort of crack up because it's just so funny because he apparently ad libbed so much, mm -hmm. which is they never knew astounding to me because that that is humor that's a quick mind you know what a talented Sketch man. comedy such a waste um such a loss i mean um yeah. he had six kids did not know that yeah five boys and a girl so his wife and his daughter were with him in a care facility in la when he passed away said it was a long illness i'm not yeah. sure I, I don't know if it was dementia or not i'm but, not sure either um doris day who also just passed this past yes. week uh was a 97 mm -hmm. uh doris there will not be a funeral a service or a gravestone or a marker of any kind. What? Dora, wow. First of all, because she was incredibly private, her manager and friend says. Right. Very shy person. Yes, she was. Not the kind of person who would want people going to visit a grave site. Oh. Secondly, Doris did not like death. She had a hard time accepting death. That's why death. she took so long to get to it. Yeah. <laughs> 
97. She had a hard time accepting death and couldn't be present in a room when one of her animals had to be put down. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And she was such an animal person. Yeah. So if, if an animal wow. was being put down, she couldn't be present. So there you go, Doris. Not going to be... Uh, other Hollywood star of fame, the Walk of Fame, you can go and pay your respects yes. to Doris Day there. But don't be looking for her uh, grave. You know what? And and of course, when when someone passes, they, they go way back over their whole career and talk about how she was huge in the '60s, uh, a huge huge movie star. Tele had a voice. television series. Yeah, and she was always um, her image was always clean and pure, and you know, it's it's fitting in my mind that she doesn't have a whole bunch of people standing and gawking at her yeah. gravestone. Did I ever tell you the story about my dad seeing her? Yes. Yeah. Did yes. I tell it on air? You yeah, did. She sat, yeah, he could smell and her perfume when she was singing. He could smell her perfume. Could you imagine? He said she was beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, just for a second, uh, I want to touch on something that happened in the States yesterday that is so impactful, and that is about Alabama State passing an abortion law. Yes. The Senate, The Senate pushing it through. All right, so this is almost a total ban. The on Republican abortions. Senate. Almost a total ban on abortions. The reason they're doing this, and they know it, they know that they're challenging the the the, 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 the right, the law, the law, the standing yeah. law. Yeah, they did, did it on purpose because they want to challenge Roe versus Wade, because they want it to go to the Supreme Court. Because now that they've got people like Kavanaugh up there, you see, this was the plan all along, folks. I'm telling you, big picture. Let's get Trump in there. Mm -hmm. Mike Pence comes in the side door as VP, and we get the evangelical far right yeah, taking control and getting rid of LGBTQ protection and abortion laws. Yeah. And uh, this is, it's happening. They're, they're going to challenge it and it's going to go to the Supreme Court and then we just have to hold our breath. Hold our breath and wait to see what happens. Speaking to that, Mila uh, Jovovich is an actress. Mm -hmm. And in light of the fact that um, the law in Georgia outlawing all abortions after six weeks is now in place, she felt the need at the age of 43 to to come forward and talk about how she had to have an abortion two years ago. So at the age wow. of 41, she had to have an emergency abortion. And she said it was horrible, it was lonely, it was scary. And she said, I, I was alone and helpless. And she thinks that there should be a lot more help for people who have to or decide to go that way. It's your body, your choice. Well, you know, I, I just, I don't understand it. I, I just, like, are we going backwards? Absolutely. Feels like it, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Did, Andy Cohen's a busy guy, complete change of subject. Yes, I just he's, a, he's everywhere. Well, did you, I didn't know, because he's got the TV show. Yes. He also has a serious radio show called uh, Radio Andy. Oh, I didn't realize that either. Yeah, but he's always, he just wants to stir stuff up, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. A little gossip monger. Mm -hmm. So I guess he has a game on the TV show that he plays with his guests called uh, Plead the Fifth. Okay. He gives a celebrity three questions, and they can only plead the fifth on one, and they have to answer the other two. And they can choose which oh, one they want to plead the fifth on, but they don't know really? what the other question. So, look at Michael showing Andy's nipples. Thanks for that, Michael. Um, is that Andy Cohen? Wow. I know. It doesn't look like him. That's because his shirt's off. Uh, <laughs> you're not looking at his face. Uh, anyway, he had, Paris, he had Paris Hilton on the show. Uh. <laughs> Who is she anymore, anyway? <laughs> Apparently, Paris Hilton and Lindsay Lohan. <clears throat> oh, God, for years. She said, don't say my name in the same sentence as Lindsay Lohan's yeah, name. Just... So he asked her on Plead the Fifth, can you say three nice things about Lindsay Lohan? And she said, she is... She is uh, beyond, and then she just went on and said, she's lame and embarrassing. It's three nice things, right? So then they, asked, they also asked her about Miley Cyrus, apparently that they had like a little, maybe um, a hookup at a bar in uh, somewhere at one time. Miley and, mm -hmm. and, and who? And Paris Hilton. Paris and Miley, oh. And so he asked her, is that true? And she said, maybe. <laughs> 
Yeah, who's on the radio show? He had John Mayer on the radio show. There was oh, a rumor right. out that Kourtney Kardashian and he had had. Yes, a, yeah, yeah. Not true. No. The way they blow it out of proportion. He said we were standing outside a club. I was talking to the drummer from the Scorpions. He said, "John, be in my music video." Yeah. Kourtney Kardashian started walking over. He said, "Kourtney, run away, run away. Otherwise, they're gonna corral you into a music video." Yeah, exactly. That was the meeting. Yeah, it's it just, just you know Hollywood just takes it and runs. Runs, man. Runs. I runs, don't. Runs. I don't spread fake news. I have real news. I have real news on Run the Great Lakes for Arch and the Sunary Hospital. And I have uh, uh, real news on the Relay for Life of the Canadian Cancer Society. And you have real news I for do. the Sault Ste. Marie area. Oh, Algoma Public Health. Do you have that one? <gasps> yes. You're not even going to believe it. Anyway, stay tuned. You'll find out after this on Mornings with Luann and Tim. the country take part in the Canadian Cancer Society's Relay for Life. So join the Relay for Life and together let's make a difference. Hey Mel, did you know in Queensgate, Australia, it's illegal to own a pet rabbit unless you can prove you're a magician? Really? Did you know that if you're at the McMeekin Arena, you're only 9 minutes and 54 seconds away from Maitland Ford Lincoln? It's closer than you think. It's Francine Florietti from Great Lakes Honda. That's right. Hi, welcome right. back on yeah. the show. Thank you too. And who have I got? Manager. Yes, Gord. Gord, Gord the big head honcho. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one who tells Francine what to do. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. And this is John. Yep. John is sales? Yes. I'm the used car manager. Excellent. All right. So, Great Lakes Honda. You're everywhere in the community, you guys. You get involved in everything, but today you're here to talk about Run the Great Lakes. Run the Great Lakes, um, I think, I was talking to Doug Richardson the other day, and he was saying, oh, over 20 odd years, is it? For him, yes. Yeah. We've been a sponsor for, this will be our fourth year. Fourth yes. year? Yes. Excellent. And you're the, uh, what's it called, the the title sponsor, the naming. You are. You yeah. are. Yeah. The, that's so fantastic. You've had teams, guys, for four years. Have you been involved every year also? Yes, Gord? almost every year. And and it's a great event where you get a lot of people out to run mm -hmm. and there's definitely um, groups that you can uh, put teams in and yeah. we have since day one since uh, Great Lakes uh, Honda has put in. Have team. you been on the team John? Yeah I've been on it for the last three years. Okay. It's a great setup because you can go the long distance the 10k the 5k and you can even walk the whole thing. So you can you walk can it too? Really do it. Yeah. You could also roll it I mean, yeah. if you know somebody who, because the route, I believe it's all accessible because it's yes. bridges and stuff. Because you go, you start at Roberta Bonder, right? Yes. No, the Delta. Uh, the, yeah, the Delta. Start yes. the Delta, who that's the host as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then you go along the boardwalk and you get over to uh, like the locks area. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. White so there's no problem. There's no barriers there, right? No. no. Then you come back again. And if you're doing the 10K, you continue on toward the old hospital, right? Yes. Along the waterfront that way and yeah. back again. Exactly. Yes, that's right. yeah. So there's no hills. Not a lot of. Not, not so a, it's much. It's not a real no. challenging run. No, exactly. It's a beautiful run, yes, especially when the, the sun's water. out. You're right along the water. People are happy to be there. It's for a great event, right? And it's We're, for a great cause. Yeah. So That's let's talk about the cause, Francine. You yes. tell us what are we raising money for? So Doug has partnered with Arch, and this year as well with the Sioux Area Hospital. It's great that they've included the Sioux Area Hospital Foundation too. Mm -hmm. Over the years, uh, the, the running total is well over $100,000 raised for uh, Arch. That's awesome. Which is so important. John, have you, been, sure. have you ever seen the facility at Arch? Yes, I have. <laughs> 
Isn't, it, isn't it something? Yeah, yeah it's awesome. beautiful. Do you know what their operating budget is for one year? I have no, no idea. Seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and they get no funding. Like wow. that is all. That all has to be raised through things like this. So you guys mm -hmm. and uh, Great Lakes Honda, you make that possible. Yeah, that's good. So <laughs> what's what's your favorite part of the whole event? Uh, I think the I think the end of the run is probably the best part. When you're <laughs> done it, when uh, you're done you it? get to kind of celebrate with yeah. everybody, go have a beer on the patio with you, the Delta. Really? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't part, hear probably. the beer part. <laughs> I didn't hear that Rome's is great and that Chris supplies some, yes, some fruit beverages fruit and some fruit, 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 fruit yes. stuff. Cheese and all that, yes. which yes. is good. Yeah, Orange and yeah. there's awards too, right? Like they give out prizes, I mean. They do, yeah. The other thing that Gord was telling me was, or sorry, Gord, Doug. Doug. Hi, Gord. Hey. <laughs> was about the, that if you are more of a competitive runner, they do have that element there they too. Do. Where you they do, they, they time you, right? Yeah. So you can kind of race with the team that you're with or against yourself, and that's what makes it fun. You can be competitive or you can just have fun with it, so. Excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, and then t-shirts, you get, a, he says the t-shirts yes. are really nice. You yeah. get included yeah. as well. That's right, yeah, with your you registration. Get a package too with a couple other little things coupons and coupons. things like that yeah yeah great sponsorship uh, so it starts the kids we'll talk about the yes. kids right so this is the second year they've had the kids and I believe they can do a 1k and a 2k but I think it's a great thing it just gives the right message to our community that we have to get the kids involved they have to right. you know uh, participate and the parents I think some of them live vicariously through their kids, <laughs> the kids right? Yeah. They're like, go, go. They're really excited about them. And, and then for the kids to be able to see, I mean, to understand, it's $15 for the entry for the kids, right? And the wonderful thing also, I got to give kudos once again to sponsors like Great Lakes Honda uh, and the other sponsors as well. Because of your participation and generosity, every single dollar from registration goes right to Sioux Area Hospital, a foundation, and to Arch. None of the money that is paid in registration has to go to putting the event together, to prizes, and no. Yeah. All of that is covered because of your generosity. Uh, so all the money goes right to this. So the $15 that the kids are putting in, you can let your kids know, this is what this is doing for our community. Mm -hmm. Gives yeah. them a sense of, of, of pride and spirit, community spirit too, right? Mm -hmm. Do you guys have any kids in the? I, I do. Have any uh, I have two children, so actually they'll be participating this really? year. Yeah. yeah. And they love it. And they for sure love it. How many of your staff? You have a big staff up there. We do. We have. We're about forty people already. Oh, yeah. oh. So. That's a huge yeah. employer. No, not city. everybody's going to be running. No, no. no. <laughs> no. What, what, I wish. Average, but what's your average been like on the team, John? You've been on the team. Um, oh, I, yeah. We'll probably get this year anywhere from ten to fifteen. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's not. And you don't have to be on a team, by the way. You can no. just register yourself. Oh, yeah. That's good. And registration. Yeah. There's an early bird. It's cheaper if you register before. I think it's thirty bucks if you go before May. I May think 30th. May thirtieth. Mm -hmm. May thirtieth. It's the yeah. cutoff, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then it goes up. I think five dollars or That's something. Yeah. And it's easy to do. There's a website, isn't there? There is. What is it? Is it it's run, run the great great lakes. Lakes. Com. Yeah, it yeah. is. Or you could also stop in to, um, to see Doug at, at, the, sh at the, the Shoe Fits in the That's Station correct. Mall right. and yeah. register there too. Yes. And they do ask that you register in advance. Of course. Because they've got to know food and t shirts. <laughs> of course. They've got to wear yeah. the t shirts. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. right? And, they, and they say if you don't register before the 31st, you're not guaranteed a t shirt. Correct. So if you want to get in there and really support it and get all, get all the goodies. <laughs> Did you see our fun video that we produced? No. No. Oh. Who did it? Oh, uh, Sarah McBain from. Sa yeah. Hi, Sarah McBain. <laughs> There's a video of what? Of the sponsors and stuff? Uh, just, yeah, some of the corporate sponsors that are going to be um, participating. So it's quite funny. She did great. Is it? Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm going to get a hold of Sarah and we're going to get our hands on that video yeah. and maybe show some of that. Because yes. I know Doug's going to be on the show, actually. We, we did pre record an interview. So okay. that'll be on next week to talk about from his perspective, from someone who's been involved from the get go. Good. Yeah. So once, oh, is this it? Oh, look. Oh, oh my goodness, Michael go. found it. Is this? Yeah. <laughs> They're warming up and getting ready for the run. Isn't that funny? Mm -hmm. It's for the different. <laughs> oh, These thank the goodness, the people. snow is gone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the weather, we're hoping the weather will be nice. Oh, oh who's yes. this? That's so the area hospital. Do they actually, do you? Do people get dressed up like that oh, for this yes, thing? Yes. Are yeah. you kidding me? Oh, no. It's, Some people yeah, do, yeah. 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 That's Team hysterical. uniforms. Uh, yep. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> what great spirit. Um, the weather, we're crossing our fingers because yes. the fair is coming to town. Mm. Whenever the fair comes, it rains. But we're hoping this year it's going to be different. Hopefully. So My the run is when? Oh, it's not this weekend anyway. No. no. Oh, that's Walk a Mile in Her Shoes. That's this weekend. That's the 25th. 
Oh. I'm all. Yeah, I'm, yeah. You're don't involved pay no attention to me. I have no idea what I'm talking <laughs> about. Um, but this one happens when? When's June, this one? June 9th. June 9th. It's June the 9th? It's a, it's a, it's a Sunday. 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 Yes. All right. So there you go. Great Lakes Honda, mm -hmm. naming sponsor. You got it. Haven't seen. Always nice to see Thank you. you Thanks. Yeah. Very nice meeting you, John. Oh, Gord. Well. Nice talking to you. Have fun at the run. Thank and you. you can have fun at the run too and join these crazy people. Uh, just get a hold of either Doug Richardson down at the Shoe Fits in the Station Mall or go to the website, runthegreatlakes.com, and you can register there. Great. We'll be back with Luann right after this on Mornings with Luann and Tim. Coming to get you, Barbara. Listen to them. Children of the night. Alive! It's discover all kinds of treasures and never pay more than five dollars inventory is restocked every Saturday and you can find anything from electronics to household items toys and much much more on Saturday everything is five dollars and the price goes down throughout the week ending with 25 cents on Friday we restock weekly with new items from various big box stores so you never know what treasures you can find come visit us at quarter to five 2510 Ashman Street in Sault Ste. Marie Michigan have a great business idea but don't know where to start? Need help taking your business to the next level? C2C Business Services can be your guide in navigating the path of entrepreneurship. With services ranging from grant funding support, access to service experts, market information, and helping your business adopt new technologies to create and foster a culture of innovation for ongoing success. Call C2C Business Services and let them be your first step in taking your entrepreneurial dreams from concept to commerce. C2C Business Services is a division of the Sault Ste. Marie Innovation Center. We are back, and Luann, what's going on in your world right now? Wow, you know what? Selena Gomez. We were talking about her just the other day, saying that she yeah. was having some... She had had, and she's doing much better now, but she was the first person to hit a certain amount of millions of viewers on Instagram, and she held that record for a long, long time. Um, young people just love her. She's stunning, she's talented, she's just a beautiful girl. Went out with Justin Bieber, so that didn't hurt, you know. But she talks about social media now, and she says it actually scares her, because she says, I think that kids aren't hearing or reading news, and what they're seeing is very selective. Mm -hmm. And she's very concerned about how boys and girls are exposed, quite literally sometimes, on social media. And she's, she said, I'm, I'm very afraid of it. She says that now she makes a point of posting with intent. She okay. Doesn't po she doesn't post just to put a picture of herself up. She, she does it with an intention behind it. I think that a lot of younger celebrities mm -hmm should follow her lead. I agree. I really do. Because it, it indicates there's a little bit of class there, in my opinion. 
I know? think like she doesn't show when she's in the shower. She doesn't show shaving her legs. She doesn't show her breasts. She, you know, she doesn't diss other people. No, she doesn't get into all of that stuff. The mean you know? girls kind of thing. Yeah, because a lot of that happens in so social much media. Oh, I, my I know. Word, and people are so brave when they don't have to say their name or you know don't have to confront a person. That's Keyboard warriors. Yes. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we've we've often said it's not the same as it was when we were growing up. Oh, you're gosh, not you're not playing no. baseball in the parking lot no. behind the church anymore. No, right? driving your bike back from down the road when before the, the lights go up and the street lights turn on. Or when the siren goes off in Sioux, Michigan, and it's ten o'clock and you gotta head home. Yeah, you got that's it. one of my favorite things. Really? That the the curfew yeah. siren over in Sioux, Michigan. I just in the summertime, ten o'clock. I hear that thing. I'm like. Do you know where your children are? It's a great thing. Seriously, it still goes? You've never heard it? No. 10 o'clock at night, listen, every night, listen for it. Jim talks about that all the time. It's the curfew in Sioux, Michigan. They always had it. It's 10 o'clock and that means to get your children home. Wow. In it's Espanola, it was a five o'clock, um, I don't want to say alarm, but a tone would come from the paper mill. To say what? Don't breathe? KVP. Oh, what? The K When it was KVP. Which stood for? I don't know. And what did the alarm say? The shift's over. Do five o'clock. Like Fred Flintstone. It's five o'clock. Oh, slide down the dinosaur's tail. Yeah, so tail. we always knew. Oh, it's five o'clock. That's okay. Yeah. Oh, do they still do the beep at one o'clock in the afternoon on the radio? Remember that? No. That they stop that. The oh, one o'clock beep. Oh, you know what? CBC. I don't know now. The beep. Yeah. It's one o'clock. It's one o'clock. Um, 1928. To this day in history. Mm-hmm. Guess who made his silent film debut in 1928? <laughs> the movie was called Plane Crazy, P-L-A-N-E, and the star was Mickey Mouse. No. 1928. It's good it was a not it was a non-talkie because his voice is really kind of annoying now, isn't it? <laughs> Imagine. First movie you go and see it. Oh, this is all about it's about it. I do, hey, Minnie! <laughs> there it is, that's a still from Playing Crazy. Hey, Minnie was there too. They've been together since 1928. Wow, they look good. That's too. like Hollywood's longest romance. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, Mickey and Minnie. And did we have we ever even seen them kiss? Like on Oh camera? sure. Have we? Yeah, and the big heart comes out when their lips feet. And there's Aww. a big heart. I'm making the I just totally made that up. I have no idea. Did you? Live. Yeah, I made that up. I, well, don't do that. <laughs> I am fake news. 1940 <laughs> on today yeah. in history. First, in, in San Bernardino, California, the first restaurant opened. Guess which one it was? You deserve a break, break today. today. At McDonald's. Yeah, McDonald's opened in 1940. Wow. I know. Ronald McDonald's got to be pooped. <laughs> Carrying those flipping shoes around? Holy you should see moly. when his makeup comes off. He... <laughs> He's a Fun, funny story. What? Um, somebody that is a, is a friend of mine, just in a in a hotel randomly, gets on the um, elevator, and Ronald McDonald's standing there <laughs> with a big fat cigar <laughs> lit. Oh no! And he goes, "How you doing?" <laughs> oh, that would scare me. That'd be like right. The yeah, that's yeah. like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know Scott it, Turnbull yeah. that I worked with before yeah, yeah. at the radio station? He said, he told that story. Was that who? He, would yeah. he get in the elevator with Ronald? Yeah. Uh, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that. You want a Big Mac? Ashes all over his red Oh jeans. my gosh. Yeah, <laughs> with those floppy shoes. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, that's coming up. I gave you fake news about Mickey kissing Minnie, but she's got the real news. I have the real news coming up, so stay with us for that. <laughs>
Housed in a 15,000 square foot custom manufacturing facility built to produce world-class cabinetry at surprisingly affordable prices, Great Lakes Fine Cabinetry brings your project from initial concept to final design. Proudly providing Northern Michigan and the Yagoma region with quality hand-built cabinetry for the past 20 years. Located at 844 East Three Mile Road, Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan, Great Lakes Fine Cabinetry, making your cabinetry dreams come true. With over 45 years of experience, All Ontario Well Drilling offers hydrofracking and all well drilling services. Call 705-575-8088 or 705-257-9495. The Sault Ste. Marie Region Conservation Authority says that Lake Superior water levels continue to be above normal. According to National Hydrological Service's Great Lakes Water Levels information, water supplies to all the Great Lakes were above average in April and water levels for all lakes remain well above standard. Lake Superior has the potential to reach or exceed record highs in May should wet conditions continue. Although peak Lake Superior water levels over this period are not expected to cause significant shoreline flooding hazards or erosion. Hazards could be possible in the coming weeks if substantial storm surge and wave action occurs. Strong shorebound winds occurring from the north or west would pose a concern. However, at this time, that's not expected. Lake Superior was 35 centimeters above its period of record average for April, the second highest April level on record. For reference, this level is just seven centimeters below the record high April level set back in 1986. Conservation staff continue to monitor Lake Superior wind conditions and lake levels closely with this statement in effect until June 8th. NDP health critic Franz Genina said that Doug Ford's scheme to cut the number of northern public health units to just two down from nine is dangerous to the health and safety of northerners. By collapsing all northern health units into just two, Ford will force each to cover thousands of kilometers and hundreds of thousands of people in communities with very different public health needs. Gélina said that these callous cuts spread public health units thin with less money to protect more people over a more vast territory. Ford's cuts mean that Ontario's 35 public health units would become just 10. Here in Northern Ontario, Ford's plan would leave Region 9 to cover Nipissing, which is part of Renfrew, Muskoka, North Bay Perry Sound, Sudbury, Algoma, Temiskaming, and Porcupine. Region 10 would include Thunder Bay Northwestern Health Unit. In a battle to see who can prove they care more about the environment, both the Liberals and the Federal New Democrats are pushing motions this week to declare climate change a national emergency. With the flooding waters of the Ottawa River at the base of Parliament Hill as a backdrop, the competing motions come a week after the Green Party won a by-election in British Columbia, which even Prime Minister Justin Trudeau took as voters signaling growing concern with climate change. The Liberal motion which is to be debated tomorrow, asks MPs to recommit to the Paris Climate Change Accord by meeting the existing targets for cutting greenhouse gas emissions and toughening them as is required to meet the Accord's stated objective of keeping global warming as close to 1.5 Celsius as possible. The NDP motion, which is to be debated first today, also seeks to hit those targets and calls for the government to bail on the Trans Mountain Pipeline expansion and end fossil fuel subsidies. NDP leader Jagmeet Singh says pipelines and fossil fuel subsidies are not congruent with climate change action. 
Foreign Affairs Minister Christia Freeland played down expectations as she prepared to meet in Washington with Trump trade czar Robert Lighthizer today in a renewed push to get punitive steel and aluminum tariffs lifted. Freeland will also venture to Capitol Hill for a meeting with the influential Republican chair of the Senate Finance Committee, Iowa Senator Chuck Grassley, who expressed optimism yesterday that the tariffs that he too opposes might soon be lifted. Freeland reiterated that since Canada, the U.S. and Mexico have successfully renegotiated a new continental trade pact, one that still, by the way, needs to be ratified in all three countries, it's time for the tariffs to be lifted for the competitiveness of the entire continent. The meetings come after a pair of telephone calls on consecutive days late last week between President Donald Trump and Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, in which the controversial 25% duty on Canadian steel and 10% levy on aluminum was a major subject of conversation. Trudeau also talked to Vice President Mike Pence about them yesterday. Public Safety Minister Ralph Goodale says the federal government will defend itself against any legal action from Terry Lynn McClintock who was sentenced to life in prison back in 2010 for her role in the first-degree murder of eight-year-old Tory Stafford. During question period yesterday, Conservative MP Glenn Mott asked about McClintock, whose transfer to an Indigenous healing lodge was reversed following a public outcry last year. Canadians will remember that the Liberals moved Tory's killer from a maximum security prison to a healing lodge until outraged Canadians forced them to reverse their decision. Will the government commit to fight her attempts at getting any taxpayer dollars and put her back behind bars where she belongs? It's, uh, it's not at all uh, clear what the status of any alleged uh, court proceeding might be. Uh, indeed, the, uh, the media coverage with respect to the judge's comments would indicate that He's not clear what the status is. Uh, you can be assured that the government of Canada will very strongly defend its position. With three brands to choose from, from Kawasaki, Suzuki, and CF Moto, visit one of our four showrooms today and speak with our knowledgeable, friendly, and enthusiastic staff who will be happy to help you with all of your motorsports needs. Enjoy life, enjoy the ride, by Robinson Motorsports. Ontario established a $100 million affordability fund to help Ontarians who don't qualify for low-income conservation programs ease the burden of their electricity bill. Whether you rent or own your home, as long as you pay your electric bill, you could qualify. There are three levels of support available. The first is a home energy kit with upgrades like smart power bars and LED light bulbs. The second includes Energy Star appliances that help keep things cool during the hot summer months. The third is for electrically heated homes so that your power bills don't break the bank during those long Canadian winters. Plus, all upgrades, including installation, are completely free of charge. Visit affordabilityfund.org or call 1-855-494-FUND to find out if you qualify.
When you support the Restore, it helps Habitat for Humanity build affordable housing for families. How does this work? New and gently used goods are donated to the Restore. The sale of these goods generate funds for building homes. For every $1 spent at the Restore, there is a $4 return on investment within our community. For example, Habitat homeowners have better educational outlook, increased employment stability, improved health, and reduction in the use of social services. Every donation and every dollar we receive through the Restore helps build sustainable housing for future homeowners. Everyone needs a foundation to build a future. To find out more and how you can help, drop by the Restore at 32 White Oak Drive or go to habitatsu.ca. I want to go paddling. <laughs> I paddle. Now? Well, no, on the, like that you water. You paddle? That's me right there. Okay. <laughs> I miss our boat. Yes. That's the American the one. Right? Yeah, I miss mm -hmm. it. Because we wanted to do a party. We wanted to have a party yeah. for, for the Gay Pride, for uh -huh. Pride Fest. We wanted to do a, like a party boat. But they don't have docking privileges in Ontario no. because they're American. So you have they to drive across and get so there. So you gotta go and across then, and then get on their boat. We, I buy a boat. What's wrong with oh, you? Oh, I'll buy the Norgoma. There you go. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> Uh, you know what? what? Gwyneth Paltrow. I love her. And her daughter, Apple. Doesn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> She's the founder of Goop. Obviously a very um, high-level actress, as in everybody knows who she is. Gwyneth Paltrow. Her daughter would get such a smack from me. Really? I'm just saying. You would smack a child? So, yeah. Well, she's 15. Here Probably would not. Okay. So this kid smack you back. is mom posts a picture of herself and her darling apple. The apple of her life. Like, like this, you know, head and shoulders. And they're skiing together. And apple is wearing a pair of goggles. You can't even see her nose. So this bottom half of her face is showing. Okay. And she says, um, happy birthday to my darling apple. And then the darling apple. There's a picture right there. Look at my phone. Yeah. The darling apple posted, mom, we've discussed this. You may not post anything without my consent. Oh, oh, oh. Guess what? Unbelievable. Hey. You may not. I mean, I get it. I understand. She's 15. She should have a say. And if she doesn't want to be on there, she shouldn't be. All children should be protected. But you don't disrespect like that. There's no old-fashioned manners anymore. You don't talk to your mom like that. Apple, what's wrong with you? Well, the first thing that happened was she called her Apple. So she's right. probably still peeved about that. She's just mad now. I don't blame her. She's a cranky 15-year-old kid. She's like kid. an apple with a worm. Right? Yep. Yeah. She's bitter. She's, she's bitter. She's a bitter apple. She's a bitter apple. A one bad apple. Don't she's a crab spoil apple. a whole bunch she's of She's a crab apples. apple. A cra <laughs> Crabby. Crab Listen, apple. I'm the funny one. Oh, uh, are you? No. Uh, <laughs> no, because you when, know what? When? <laughs> When? Now? Are you going to be funny now? <laughs> You're the best. Oh, uh -huh, the best. You are. Mm -hmm. oh, just, just stuff. <laughs> oh, all over yourself. No, I Again. Didn't. Okay, so listen. Okay, so listen. I am really distressed about this public health situation, <gasps> Luann. You know what? It is so ridiculous. What? Northern Ontario, once again, is being treated like we're in the hinterland. We, it's wh what? ridiculous. We, they have a $24 million building they just built like how many years ago? And now it's going to have no... I don't imagine we're going to have a chief medical officer of health anymore. There'll only be one for the whole area. So thanks for coming, uh, Doug Ford. <laughs> Marlene Spruitt. It was nice having you. But you know what? The, the geographical area is absolutely ridiculous. From, From Renfrew, Renfrew. Outside of Ottawa. To Thunder Bay. And we are Region 9. And down to the Muskokas. To the Muskokas. What? To Miskaming, North Bay, <sighs> Sault Ste. Marie. And then, Renfrew. And for those of you who don't understand, what pub, the whole idea of having public health is to educate people and to get services that prevent sickness. So now more people will get sick because they don't have They're the information not going to have the available. information or the services or the right. clinics and all that kind of stuff. Oh my gosh. 
Politics. Uh, backwards. Anyway, Boy, let's I move forwards and talk about the great things that are happening in healthcare in Sault Ste. Marie. It is Wellness Wednesday, and we have Dr. Sylvana Spadafora with us. Speaking of great things. I know. Talking in our about the work that's being done in Sault Ste. Marie and how it's being funded through the fundraising from the Canadian Cancer Society's Relay for Life. Stay with us. We'll be right back. As a nation, Canada has participated in all of the major world conflicts. In the Sioux area alone, over 10,000 men and women have enlisted in the Canadian Armed Forces. The Veterans Commemorative Monument aims to cement the legacy of the Canadian Armed Forces in stone. It will highlight the bravery, strength, courage and sacrifice of our service men and women. In times of need, they volunteered to serve us. Now it is our time to thank and recognize their sacrifice. You can help honor our men and women of service by donating today. To help construct this special, one-of-a-kind monument, visit thosewhoserve.ca to find out how to donate and more. Every day, I walk for truth. I love women. I love older women. Professional women. Stay-at-home moms. I love how women put the family first. I love how you're so concerned that I'll get to your husband. You have no idea that I'm coming after you. Make death wait. Please donate to fund life-giving research. Because heart disease and stroke is the number one killer of women. happy right now because we're reuniting. Yes, we are. Hi, Sylvana. Hi, sweetie. This is Dr. Spadafora, but I call her Sylvana because we've known each other since high school. Yes. Imagine just that. Just the other day. <laughs> just, just, I know. She just went right from the mount to the uh, chief of staff for the Sioux <laughs> Area Hospital. That's just it. like that. Really impressive. What a career you've had. Well, yes. And, yes. You're, a, and you're a hometown girl. Born, bred, and raised. Yeah. Yes. So, you're, But you're here today to talk yes. about the trials, the cancer. Tell me, it's cancer research and trials that we do in Sioux Ste. Marie. I'm sure there's a lot of people who don't know that this even happens. You're right. So um, I work at the Surya Hospital through the Algoma District Cancer Program and part of the work that we do is we offer cancer clinical trials through various organizations but the one we're very proud of is the Canadian Cancer Trials Group, okay. CCTG for short, which used to be called the National Cancer Institute of Canada. Okay. This is an organization that was set up um, in conjunction with the National Cancer Institute in the States and with the Terry Fox Foundation they take the donations of Relay for Life and the Terry Fox Run etc and they fund clinical trials to help in the care and cure of cancer patients in Canada. Care and cure? Yes. So there's two aspects to the research, correct? correct? Yes. So cure obviously we're looking to try to find and, and we've had success. I mean can yes. you, could, uh, you're, an on, you're an oncologist? I'm an oncologist. Can you tell me a couple of cancers that didn't have cures before and they are cures now? So the ones that we talk about a lot are the um, the testicular cancers for example. Yes. So when I started many many years ago um, the chances of a man who was diagnosed with a, an advanced testicular cancer being cured was quite 
low. In fact, they even made movies about it. Brian's song in the 1970s. Was that testicular? It was testicular. I cried so hard at that movie. Everybody Brian's did. Brian's song, if you haven't seen it, oh my gosh. Um, and now, pretty well, anybody comes to the door. Um, so you take Lance Armstrong be before his controversy. Right. He had, he had brain metastases and he was cured. No kidding. Mm -hmm. So this is the kind of stuff that, so when you do Relay for Life, mm -hmm. and the money goes into this pot, and then they disperse it, uh, and some of it goes, does it all, does Relay for Life all go for cancer research? And, it, they, and they're very, very careful about it, and it's it's um, um, managed very, very carefully. Mm -hmm. um, the financial statements are available. They, they try not to put a lot of overhead, and right. et cetera, et cetera. Um, but it is world-class research. It just came back from the, the yearly meeting. Um, we are recognized around the world for offering quality research. And when you say we, you mean Sue and Area Hospital? Uh, it's, well, Canada. Canada. And okay, we Canada are part is recognized of that group. in Correct. the world. But, but Sue and Area Hospital and the program that you're involved with... Has been there for a long time. And it's, it's won awards, too. It's, it has recognition Correct. from, from uh, healthcare professionals, from uh, drug companies. Right. So this, I mean, this is all... There's a lot of work that's, that, that has to be done in order for the trials to be safe for the patients. Um, and so we've received uh, recognition for the way that we um, enter patients onto trial, how quickly we can put them onto trial, how accurate we are with our blood work and our testing and our evaluations and how we give the drugs, etc. In other words, they're saying you're doing it right, Sault Ste. Marie. Yes. How did we end up with this amazing opportunity? Who created this in the first place? So the original concept of having a CCTG started in the 1970s. That uh, long ago? Oh yes, a while ago. And then uh, they were looking for groups of, of researchers. And, we were and still in high school then? Yes, we were. Yeah, okay. Going to, going to uh, the, the, what was it called? The uh, Sadie Hawkins. The Sadie Hawkins. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So they were looking for groups of researchers back and, in the and 70s. And Dr. Wald was here at the time. David Wald. David Wald. He was working at the Group Health Center mm -hmm. and he had um, grown up as an oncologist in uh, in Canada, but he trained in the state in, in England. So oh. he knew the value of clinical research. So And he knew this was an opportunity for a smaller community to be able to offer good care because it elevates the standard of care. And so he actually was able to join in for some of the earliest clinical trials offered at the CCTG. No kidding. Mm -hmm. This is really impressive. When they built the hospital, the new hospital, mm -hmm. was there consideration given to the fact that these, do you, mean, do you need special facilities and stuff to run these trials? So, so when we research? do research, we don't do the guinea pig, the, the rat, the mice research. We're no. too small a community. So we do what we You're call. You're further down the line. Yeah, we call clinical, we call it clinical research. Okay. So we need office space. That's pretty much it. And right? that was put into the, that was put into the design of the clinic. So now, when you, how many people in Sault Ste. Marie would have been involved in trials and research? From the beginning, we've had thousands. And I'm proud thousands? of thousands. And I'm proud to say that we actually have been able to participate in trials that change the way that we treat cancer patients in the world today. We have in Sault Ste. Marie? Yes, we do. Because of you guys? Well, no, because of those guys. <laughs> and also because of the people who participate yes. in the fundraising activities. Because right. you can't do it unless you have You're right. the funds. This is extremely in, um, important for, for it to be done right. To be, de be done right means it has to be redundant. To be redundant means you have to have money. And we know that right now when it comes to health care, there's not a lot of money to be had. Yes. It, the, they're tightening the belts. Yes. So we need the support of community, community members. Yeah, I, I mean, every day I go to work and I am overwhelmed by the compassion and by the giving nature of the, the people of Sault Ste. Marie, from the volunteers to the, the, the friends and loved ones who help our patients come to the clinic, get their blood work, all that stuff. And this is just another facet of that giving nature. And we do extremely well in this community, considering our size and our economics, etc. You're not kidding. Mm -hmm. And the Relay for Life is coming up, and it's going to be a great one this year. They've changed locations. It's yes. going to be, uh, be in the yard, which is behind the machine shop. Lots of new activities going on. They're be on the water. They're on the what beautiful and uh, really for me it's 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 fundraising but it's also bringing people together to celebrate and to remember and it's it puts a real face on cancer yes you know and uh, so I went last year that we went together from uh, on TV from uh, Superior Media and I have to tell you it was my first time participating I'm, I'm looking forward to going back this year mm -hmm. 
because the people you meet and the things you see and the stories you hear are so inspiring. Um, so do you get do you get any uh, feeling of that personal contact with people? Do you oh. actually deal with the people when you're going through these trials and stuff about the changes that you're making in their lives? That's or? the only way I can get myself to work every day. I, the The reason why I go to work every day is I enjoy the science, obviously. Obviously. But I also enjoy the people. I Every day I meet heroes. Um, every day I go to work and, and I'm amazed. Every day I go to work and I can't believe people let me yeah. do the things that I do. And for that reason, I, I thank I thank everybody every single day. Thank you for what you've done for I me. I want to thank you too. Well, thank you. And if you want to be a hero of Sault Ste. Marie, you can join the Relay for Life and help cancer research right here in Sault Ste. Marie. Dr. Sylvana Spadafora, what thank a pleasure you, to see you. Come thank back you. again anytime. Thank you. Luann will be back right after this on Mornings with Luann and Tim. I walk for change. What do you wish for? A nice life? Nice things? Or do you wish for something more? A sense of purpose? Do you wish to discover a cure? To write code that cracks an unsolvable question? To further our exploration into space? Or to invent something that changes everything right here on Earth? Well, if that's your wish, make yourself ready. Because when you look back, you'll see that you didn't just make wishes. You realized them. In the beginning, there was nature, the oceans, the forests, the mountains, and so history was passed on, and memories took shape, defining us, uniting us, creating a legacy that's ours to preserve, and ours to celebrate. Message from the Government of Canada. Well, how lovely was Dr. Sylvana? My mm. goodness, she's doing some school. Awesome stuff for Got a little Marie. choked up there in the you middle did. of that. And then yes. she said some sweet things to you, yes, too. Yes, she did. She's very, very lovely. Nice lady. Yes. Hey, we hope that this Wellness Wednesday inspired you, too, to stay healthy and get involved in your community. And uh, get out there and enjoy the beautiful day, folks. We'll see you tomorrow on Mornings with Luann and Tim.